right welcome back students to one more session of your enthalpy of a reaction right in the previous video we have seen what is enthalpy of formation enthalpy of vaporization enthalpy of fusion right now let us come back to the next set <coughs> heat of a solution or enthalpy of a solution what actually is this let's see now uh, let me take certain examples and then we'll come back to the definition right as i told you you need the definition you need the example suppose uh, if i take certain examples like sodium hydroxide for this heat of a solution we will see what is heat of a solution first we will write the data so heat of a solution here it is minus 44.51 so this is picked up in kilojoules per mole next after sodium hydroxide it is ammonium nitrate here the heat of solution is plus 2569 KNO3 it is plus 34.89 HCl it is minus 74.84 okay right. now what actually is this heat of a solution let me explain what are you observing here for this we have written so many, so many values now I'll give you one more example then you will understand what I'm trying to explain right so I'll take uh, one more example of magnesium sulfate then you you will understand let me take one more example I'm taking one example that is here magnesium sulfate what is this uh, state of magnesium sulfate it is nothing but solid isn't it <coughs> what am I going to do I'm going to use excess of water here in this case then this is getting converted into magnesium sulfate from solid because you're dissolving water this becomes aqueous delta h value for this is minus 84.42 kilojoules per mole right well, let's write the definition what is this definition what are you seeing it is basically enthalpy change isn't it this is delta h okay the change in enthalpy okay when one mole of a solute okay is dissolved is uh, dissolved okay it is dissolved in how much large quantity of water means large quantity infinite quantity of water excess we have written okay once again it is a change in enthalpy when one mole of a solute is dissolved in excess quantity large quantity of water right or what is this in large quantity of a solvent that is nothing but water is known as heat of a solution so when you're dissolving a, a particular solid <coughs> in large quantity of water means you're diluting it then you will finally get um, uh, that aqueous solution this is called heat of a solution right now let's come back to these examples and see what is this basically what does it say it is a amount of heat energy absorbed here it is absorbed it is released so let us write that it is amount of heat of a solution is amount of heat absorbed amount of heat absorbed or it is evolved also or evolved 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 when when released or evolved when so it is absorbed means endothermic reaction evolved means exothermic reaction what happened when <coughs> a specific amount of solute dissociates in a solvent okay right that means it dissociates in a, in a solution it is solvent that means it is the amount of energy released now you're taking sodium hydroxide you are dissolving it in water it becomes a solution isn't it so the amount of heat released or absorbed when a specific amount of solute this is a solute this is a solute this is a solute this is also a solute when a specific amount of a solute dissociates in a solvent what quantity you're taking infinite amount let us write the definition for this example which we have taken so we will write the same again is right it is the change in enthalpy delta h it is change in enthalpy okay right so when this change happens when one mole of a solute right when one mole of a solute okay is dissolved okay in is dissolved in a large quantity is dissolved in a large quantity so what is it large quantity it is nothing but water that large quantity is this infinite dilution so large quantity means infinite dilution infinite means to, there's no limit like you're diluting it the content of water is more infinite uh, quantity of the solvent it is dissolved in large quantity of a solvent remember this 
blood quantitative solvent is known as is known as heat solution is known as heat solution remember that so the amount of heat energy released or absorbed when uh, a solid is dissolved in a solvent that the solvent should be more amount so this is your heat of a solution students so hope you have understood dissolving nothing but you are taking sugar you are dissolving a large amount of water that is called heat of a solution right now let after uh, this heat of a solution let's come back and do the next one that is heat of formation now what actually is heat of formation let's see now uh let us write the definition again let us write the example so what is this basically now let me take i'm taking no nitrous oxide here it is gaseous state it's combining with oxygen which is also in gaseous state all are gaseous now this is an equilibrium reaction forming no2 gas now let's balance this now this becomes 2 this becomes 2 right here uh, the delta h value the delta h means here heat of formation is denoted by delta h not f now delta h not f for no how much is this this is delta h not f i'm writing here delta h not f how much is this this is equal to uh, 90.2 for oxygen because it is uh, a single molecule zero Again for NO2 here uh, delta height formation is 33.2. Okay. These are the reactants. This is the product. Now if I have to write the delta H0 for a reaction. Okay. How will I do? The formula for this is for the reaction the formula is it is equal to delta H0 formation of what of the products P minus delta h naught formation of the reactants r okay right now let's see how is this now how much is the formation of the products it is nothing but 2 into 33.2 okay 2 into 33.2 minus of now it is minus of reactants isn't it it is minus of the reactants also you have to so 2 into 90.2 plus 0 how much will this come up to this will come up to minus 1114 kilojoules per mole okay hope this is clear now heat of the formation formation is that from that i calculated heat of a reaction hope this is clear students now i'll write the definition of this heat of the formation because i have done the numerical now we'll write the definition seeing uh, no, uh, seeing from that particular data so <coughs> heat of reaction is this formula for formation of products minus reactants right now how can I write what is delta F now it is the by delta H naught is heat of formation it is a change in enthalpy that takes place when it's a change in enthalpy that takes place when one mole of the compound is formed from its elements okay that is heat of formation remember what is that once again it is a change in enthalpy that takes place when one mole of the compound this is also gaseous state only isn't it right so one mole of the compound uh, uh, is formed from its elements let's write that it is heat of formation is change means i learn heat of formation then calculate heat of reaction okay so change in enthalpy that takes place when one mole of compound this compound is formed from its elements remember that okay come on mole of the compound is formed from its elements so this is your heat of formation students means whatever change in enthalpy takes place when one mole of the compound is formed from its gaseous elements or elements rather so let's do a numerical based on this right let's read this question so let us write answer right. the standard heats of formation of ethanol uh, carbon dioxide and water are given like this calculate the standard heat change of the reaction okay fine so first of all when such question is given to you try to write the reaction what is the reaction uh, they said ethanol carbon dioxide and water okay calculate the standard, standard heat of the reaction so heat of formations are given so first of all ethanol C2H5OH it is a liquid state what is it doing it's going to combine with oxygen 
right which is in uh, liquid state okay right now they going to form what products carbon dioxide water carbon dioxide which is in gaseous state and water which is, which is in liquid state then let's balance this oxygen okay this becomes three here and this becomes two here because c2 and this becomes three here fine now i need to find what i need to find delta they asked me standard heat of the reaction i need to find delta h naught for the reaction what is the formula delta h naught is nothing but heat of a reaction how can i find i can find using the formula that is heat of formation of products that is what we have learned earlier isn't it minus delta h naught heat of formation of reactants that is how heat of the reaction is calculated let us write the formula now data is given to me i'll substitute what is given here how much is the product side given formation of the products so on products carbon dioxide value given to me is nothing but <coughs> that means products minus reactants okay, let us write the whole formula and then understand and substitute the values so here what are the products here this is the product isn't it that means it is nothing but 2 into delta h naught f what is in the product side carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide close the bracket in this way in the square bracket now after that plus 3 into product side which still we have 3 into delta h naught f uh, this is water molecule isn't it so this is water molecule water what is the state of water it is nothing but liquid close it minus now this whole thing i've written here so minus of of the delta h of the reactants what is this delta h here there are no moles in it so i'm directly right delta h not f right so what is this c2h5 oh c2h5 oh okay um this is plus 3 into oxygen is there delta h naught f oxygen this is with state liquid state so you need to write everything along with the coefficients after that delta h naught f then the given one uh, this is carbon dioxide then 3 into this one right so let's start here when i start solving and applying the uh, things you know values what do i get this becomes equal to 2 into 2 into minus 393.5 plus 3 into minus 285.5 minus of minus of minus 277 minus 0 okay this is the thing minus of minus 277 minus 0 right so here which is equal to minus 16435 uh, minus of minus 277 when i solve this Okay, I've taken this whole, I've written here, minus 277. Done. So, this becomes minus into minus plus. Finally, when I solve, I get an answer of minus 13665 kilojoules. So, so, this is your delta H naught standard, which they ask you, standard heat change of the reactions. What is delta H naught? It is nothing but, let me write that, it is standard heat change, heat change for a reaction so how is this taken it is nothing but heat of formation of the products minus heat of formation of the reactants isn't it yes thank you for watching students let's start uh, or let's let us meet with the next video